get the raffle ticket. Maybe we'll win some cool stuff from uh, Red Max, right? Love it. All right, so we're walking around, having a good time. So many of you guys are here saying, hey, um, Dan from Wine Guards has been hosting me, like helping with my raffles and all this other mess. And uh, I gotta go to put a parts order in. And then I also uh, want to see if we can step at the uh, state trooper booth to do some conversation with those guys about DOTs and numbers and all that mess. These things are always a great resource here, guys, with uh, learning all your numbers, all of your uh, weight. These things are super helpful. If you guys have never went to uh, your local open house and they got like a state trooper here, uh, always a good time learning from these guys. So, Hey, one thing a lot of you guys wanted to see more was the Mean Green mower from uh, the MGIA. I didn't get a chance to check it out. Um, potentially going to work out a demo with these guys. We'll see. Uh, so many of you guys have been asking me about this. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Mean Green? Like, the price point's a little... Uh, a little tall but you know if you're kind of looking at it as a long-term investment i think a lot of you guys will be impressed with it check out these motors so there's only a couple moving components really on this whole mower and deck so pretty sharp though i don't know let me know what you guys think <laughs> oh boy <laughs> get it Is that what it does? That's all there? No. I think it's fast. That's quick, man. That's sharp. What do we got here? Wow. Check it out. I like that. Alright. I've never uh, seen that much Makita here. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Look at this bus. All right, what's up, guys? So, quick little intermission. You guys saw this guy last week. What up, Josh? Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing? So, dude, I uh, I got to put in my parts order. There's a whole bunch of stuff to do today. Yeah. What are you grabbing for your parts order? So, I just put my parts order in this morning. You know, typical stuff: belts, blades, spark plugs, air filters, fuel filters, oil filters. Yeah, yeah. Got them for all the mowers. I even went and picked up all the stuff for the small stuff: the blowers, the whips. Get them all tuned up. Get them ready to go for the season. Because you know, here it's my first time. <laughs> well, it's my first time. I got to get belts, blades, oils. I'm like, hey, what'd you get? Because it's like. 10 percent off or 50 yeah, percent off yeah 10 percent off right now and then i think it goes up if you go over a grand in part so i mean why not take advantage of it right now you know save yourself some money i like that you know put some money back in your pocket to buy something more i don't know. know why i've never done like a prepay or a, or a, a what do they call it like a bulk parts order? bulk parts or i don't I, know i never did it until actually this is my second year doing it before i would just go on sporadically buy parts See? here and there and now i'm like well, this makes sense to buy in bulk so why not i learn every day i learn from you guys that's super super cool um and by the way you said you pick up your trailer this week yeah so on friday heading down to cali Sons, picking up the 18 foot trailer I think the, uh, you had up just recently at, uh, on the MGIA, MGIA show yeah that so was our that, last video in fact that exact same trailer she told me is the one that I'm picking up so I was like perfect so got her what? hands on it so heck yeah, yeah stoked about that I love it and uh yeah so just get my parts getting you know get the free lunch and appreciate no getting to you know meet up with you for a second you know learn a little bit from you today so look how busy it is here man you ever seen yeah. it this busy no you know what I think it's perfect because it usually it's, we had a snowstorm like two days ago so yeah. guys are still all doing cleanup and they're sleeping right so you know it's actually perfect this it's packed. The weather, it's good. the weather's nice. Uh, we're at that fork of the road. I'm hoping we have an early spring. Yes. And uh, we can start making some money, right? And, and I'm a little bit of a dry spring. Not like last year where we had like 100 days of rain. You know, that, that was sucks. crazy. 100%. Crazy. So. All right. Well, hey. All right, man. Good to, to see you. you. We'll catch up with you guys. Yeah. Alright guys, so I got my parts order here. Check this out. Fidel's putting in his. 
That takes the cake. Oh, we gotta do some slow mo shots of the cake. Um, but I got my parts ordered. Let me know if I'm missing anything. I need. I got eye lifts, Gator Blades, Echo Black Diamond, Red Armor Oil, oil filters, the whole deal, and then deck belts. So, all right, let's keep it going. All right, this is always really cool back here. So if you guys ever need anything from Weingarts, I mean, talk about ready to rock and roll. They don't mess around. It's awesome. All right, I'm on the way to take that parts order, but check this out. I like the bench rack. These things are sweet. So cool. All right, we're at the parts side. We got Brad, but I won't show his face because he's, he's already famous enough. Right, Brad? That's right. Unless you want to be on camera. And there's Brad. What's up, Brad? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the parts order in. So like I said, I've never actually put in a parts order, but we might be able to save a few bucks, so we're gonna see. I got like 10 things of uh, two-stroke oil, a couple uh, boxes of blades, what else do I got? Some belts, some simple stuff, so let me know. Do you guys do pre-order with your parts, or do you guys just pay as you go? Let me know. Man, check out all these Ultimas. What? I just love looking at equipment. What about you guys? We got the... S series laser. S, S. All right, a lot of you guys always ask me what's one of the best mowers to get started with. I think the Turf Tracer, seven grand, great unit. 48, 52 maybe, and a 60. Awesome, but here's the deal. The Metro, four grand. That is awesome. I think the Metro uh, with the fixed deck, Awesome mower, 36 inch usually, or 33, this is a 36. Uh, great mower to start with. Belt driven, not a bad option. Um, I'm more of a fan of the Hydros, you know, the, uh, the Hydro walk behind. See these right here. Uh, but you know what? Fixed 36, not bad. Standard 36 after. But personally, I just love the 48 and the 60s of the Turf Tracers great units hey guys what's up really quick i'm hanging out with james from weingarts what's up brother how you doing man i'm good um so you actually are the are you like the store manager store manager here at the farmington hills location look yeah. at the white shirt yeah this yeah guy's, this guy's big time um so a lot of you guys want to know more about weingarts and just this whole ship you guys look at pan here really quick is that crazy like there is how many people are here right now oh probably about 400 people i'm thinking that is crazy so we're gonna have a really good uh, time because on Friday, um, me, you, and Alex, which is your sales manager, that's right. We're gonna do a podcast. So many of you guys want to know about dealers, uh, how to build a relationship. What's the difference between a dealer and a big box store, right? Absolutely, yeah. The relationships. That's what we'll we'll hit on a lot. I can't wait. So let me know if you guys are excited about that podcast episode. Um, look for it in the next couple of weeks. But James, right here, I had to grab my camera. I'm like, James, come here really quick. He's like, what? And uh, but this guy's a really good dude. Weingart's been really classy to me. I try to help you guys out. For Ho sure. Hopefully I do. You do, for uh, sure. I don't know. We appreciate it. All right, cool. All right, we'll catch up with you guys. I just had to say hey real quick to James. All right, guys, so quick little transition. We're actually hanging out with the boss guys right now, and we got the 9-2 out here, and we got Rick, who's going to be giving us just a little bit of feedback about the back-dragging uh, properties now with the, is it the D-Force? D-Force. The D-Force. All right. All right, so... So give everybody a little bit of background with the, the down pressure. What do we got going on here? Well, the down pressure is nice. Uh, when you're back dragging and so on, it, it just gives you something a little bit more uh, a weight on the blade okay. to be able to hold that blade down and pull that snow back away from garage doors or okay. do truck docks and so on. It's also nice for peeling up uh, tire tracks, hard pack and so on on the pavement as well. That's so, my biggest issue right now. See so a scrape clear down to clean pavement, right? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, so what do we got? Is it in the back area here or is it like the yeah, actuator? It's, it's, a, it's a, uh, accumulator system that mounts on the hydraulic system. You'll activate that inside. Okay. All right, so here we go. We got it in regular, just float mode, right? Yeah, float, now it's in float. Okay. And then he'll double tap the trigger a certain time. Oh. It's exerting that force down on the cutting edge now. So the, the wheel well here uh, expanded about two inches, yeah, as you guys can see. the force of the blade. And this is designed to help with uh, anytime we're back dragging to get that compacted snow or by the driveway, which is a really big issue for me. Uh, so 
I don't know if I'm going to trade in my plow or sell my plow off necessarily because um, it's, a, it's a pretty investment, but I definitely love the new technology. Um, it, it's a nice feature. It's there when you need it. If you don't need it, you don't use it, but it's an on-off feature that you can uh, you can dictate when you use it or when you don't use it. And, and unfortunately, there's no retrofit, right? It's cost prohibitive. It's not retrofit. It's just cost prohibitive. That's correct. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let me know what you guys think about the down pressure, the D-Force. Uh, I like that if, if this is true because this has been on the straight blade for a little while though, right? Correct, for two seasons on the straight blade. And I know a lot of guys love that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, but should we replace the blade? Should we get the 9-2 with the D-Force? Let me know. Rock and roll. All right, guys, we'll see you back inside. All right, guys, we got a quick grab here. Aaron, what's up, though? I mean, though? for the best deals in town, I mean, come to Wangertz and Farmington Hills and see Aaron. <laughs> this is the only sales guy here that will jump on the camera. Is that right? That's correct, sir. What, what about Ted, though? Should we use Ted or Aaron? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Ted who? Ted who? All right, sell us something, man. What do we got? We got blowers, trimmers, everything in between. Do like a nice, like, silent clip with me in it, like, just in the background passing. You want me some slow-mo like, shots? Like, I'm something smart. Slow-mo shots with oh, Aaron? This is going to end up bad. This guy... <laughs> This guy, you can tell we just literally have fun here. Like, this guy is the man. And uh, I, is there like something hidden in there, like in, behind the beard? I don't know. I think he's got a mower stuck in there, you know? But anyway, we're just having fun out here right now. <laughs> All right guys, so hey, really quick, I'm hanging out here with Pete with Mean Green Mowers. How we doing, brother? Good. Hanging out? Yeah. All right, this guy, he's Cool right. Hand Luke. When, uh, when we were at MGIA, uh, it was so busy, there's so much going on there that I couldn't really get, uh, grab him and do a walkthrough with these battery mowers. But on the last video, we saw a bunch of comments and people right. want to know more about the Mean Green Mowers. So yeah. without further ado, got a couple minute plug here, take it away, yeah. let them know what they're looking at. All right, guys, Mean Green Mowers. Uh, we've been around for about 10 years now and uh, it takes, takes a long time to get it right, and uh, we've got it right. Cool. Uh, got quite a few mowers out on the industry. Uh, Brightview is a good example. They're running about 200 units. So wow. we're, we're uh, legit enough to uh, be working with guys uh, of that caliber. All right, so what do we have uh, for units here? Yeah, quick run through. So this is the Evo. This is our big mower. It's a 74 inch. It has five blades. Wow. And uh, something uh, to note about electric mowers is the blades are individually powered. So you don't have belts. You have motors that are directly driving each blade. So that's nice. When you hit a tall patch of grass yep. and one blade might be struggling, the other blades aren't. So tip speed stays up really, really well on electric motors, especially with all the torque that we have uh, on our mowers. So okay. 18,000 okay. uh, feet per minute, so industry standard. Wow. Uh, those. Yeah. So just yeah. like a regular zero turn gas engine. Yeah. Same, regular same performance. And, uh, sometimes I get a little daring and say uh better all right uh, you know uh yeah we got it you need to do a side by side we'll find we, out we, right? we need we need to lock that down this yeah. summer for sure yeah. Yeah. so this is the uh the big dog zero turn okay so what do we got here yeah so uh like i said 74 inch uh, we put wheels on the front that comes standard the reason it does is because it eliminates the need for suspension up here okay we have zero zerk fittings no oil no gas no belts no hydraulic fluid nothing wow we have eliminated all grease points so no joke, maintenance on these mowers. You keep the deck clean, you keep air in the tires, you sharpen the blades, you plug it in at night. That's it. So what's uh help us out for charge time? Like what's the sure. charge time? How do we work with that? Do we just plug it in late yeah. late night you were saying? Yeah, it's it's overnight. Okay. It's a good way to say it. it. It's just an overnight charge time. So when you get done mowing for the day, just plug it in. If you mow for two hours, plug it in. You mow for six hours, plug it in. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna get a memory or anything. What's uh yeah. what's the runtime? Like for how like what total hours can we get out of it? Like an eight hour day? About eight, you're gonna get about eight hours out of these big mowers. Okay. Uh, those are designed uh, you know, parks districts are the, the using these real big ones. Uh, they're not on routes and on trailers as much, so you really need to get eight hours out of them. Yeah. Um, over here, you know, my, my stand-on mower, my uh, my 60-inch, uh, because those are on routes, uh, you don't need as much battery, so we okay. shake the battery down to save you guys some money. Uh, and you're going to get a good solid about six and a half hours out of these. So right. that'll get you through the day. Yeah. Where, can, uh, where can people learn more if they want to catch up? Uh, yeah, go to our website. Mean Green. Mean Green Products. Mean yeah, Green Products. Just, just Google Mean Green Mowers. You'll find all kinds of videos. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. Well, hey, let's work out a demo. Let's make yeah, it happen. We'll do it. We'll all do right, it. All Thanks, brother. man. Appreciate the time. Yeah, you bet. Brian. You got it. <laughs> see, see you down. <laughs> all right, we're out. Hey, awesome time at Wine Guards. Had to say hey, hi, and bye to like 20 of you guys, which is super cool. Um, really good show, really good time. Tons of free Mountain Dew, you guys know that. Bean Green Mowers, you guys got the whole deal here. Um, 
Guys, I'm just really having fun making videos again for you guys, trying to ramp things up. I've been so busy and distracted with running the podcast, but things are really good. No complaints. I'm ready for the season. And you know what? We're over and out. All right, guys. See you later.